Well, ahoy there, cruisers. <laughs> We're in Blumen, Alaska. This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Let's head and get some breakfast. Oh my gosh, guys, you do not know how excited I am. We're in Blumen, Alaska. This is amazing. It looks absolutely spectacular out there. I don't think I was expecting it to look so beautiful. Oh, this is amazing. So just before we go for breakfast, I'm gonna to go to guest services to pick up my drone. Yes, because a Norwegian cruise line, you are not allowed to have drones on board. So they've taken it off me, but they're gonna let me have it for when I'm in port, which is fantastic. So let's go grab that first, then coffee, then breakfast, because the coffee on board is awful. So we're gonna to go to Starbucks and just pay extra for it. It is what it is. Norwegian. You've won. I caved and I've decided to buy a coffee. I can't deal with the dirty dishwater anymore. I need the good stuff. Now, the strangest thing about this cruise is that it originated in Hawaii. If you haven't watched those episodes, make sure you go back and watch them. It's a Trans-Pacific to Alaska. So we started off with really lovely warm weather, shorts and t-shirts, sunscreen and all of that jazz. And now we're in Alaska where it's two degrees Celsius and absolutely freezing. So complete change of wardrobe. Gotta say it was tough to pack for. We just recommend doing layers. So if you do get hot, you can take it off. And if you get cold, you can put more on and obviously a nice wintry coat that's also waterproof as well for Alaska. We've got an umbrella as well just in case but packing was a little bit difficult for this multi-seasonal cruise but hey David's just at Starbucks getting us some coffee. I'm so excited because like we said the normal coffee is absolutely disgusting so let's go. Ah, I'm so excited guys to get off and explore this amazing place. Welcome to breakfast. I've already started guys. I've already started on my fruit salad. The thing we love about this dining room is these amazing windows. We've got a fantastic view of Alaska outside. The dining room is literally called Windows and I can see why. Yeah, the dining room is shaking because we're arriving into Icy Strait Point. This is our first port of call here in Alaska and I am so excited to get off. I'm starting off with a bowl of Cheerios with some milk. In the UK, we actually call these goodbyes, if you didn't know that, instead of Cheerios, which is quite funny because we usually say Cheerio in the UK. So I'm just gonna try these, gonna pour some milk over the top. Forgot to say, got our coffee, it is strong. We got an extra shot, so it's got three shots in there. It's like blooming rocket fuel I'm gonna be like rocket man I don't need any drone to fly around today I'm just gonna fly around myself it's so strong it'd make Elton John's wig fly straight off treat yourself anyway the Cheerios are lovely they're just Cheerios I'm trying something I've never had for the first time apple jelly apple jelly on toast apple jet what, what the heck's in that apples well let's have a look it smells it just smells like sugar I can't toast any apple at all and I got an omelette for breakfast as well made it a little smiley faced spinach egg omelette and it comes with some little breakfast potatoes on the side hash browns yum why would you make jelly out of apples that's just not right guys sorry sorry for you americans out there anyway i've got breakfast dessert time from what from one type of corn syrup to three i know this i, I can talk really i've got blue but i've got pancakes with blueberries and they've got lovely maple syrup on there and some cream as well so it's like a triple treat yourself it is really delicious really yummy super tart super sweet it's a great way to start your day in alaska it'll keep you nice and warm for the rest of your life treat yourself that was a really lovely breakfast and a great start to the day. I have to say, I've been really, really impressed with the food on Norwegian. We spent 11 nights on board and I don't think we've had one bad meal yet, which is saying a lot. We've had the odd dish that we didn't particularly like just because of our tastes, but really fantastic, really hot, really good, good quality. I am so excited. I don't think I've ever been this excited to get off on a port before. Complete first for us, so join us for an amazing day here in Icy Strait Point, Alaska. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. Look at that first bear of the day we are officially in alaska finally after all of these years of cruising over 100 cruises and we're finally here this is freaking awesome guys ah it's so cold it's amazing let's go and have a day of adventure shall we oh that air so clean and fresh on land after five days as well it's very strange <sighs> I'm happy. Got my hat on, got my sunglasses because it is very bright here. Do remember to pack things like this, guys, because we're here at the beginning of May. It's May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. And it is Chile con carne. Just under 40 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe. So it's very cold. I, I can't get over how amazing this is already. It's just spectacular on the way in this morning. Opened those curtains and saw the sunrise. We saw dolphins, porpoises. 
It was amazing. We even saw otters floating, lots of birds and wildlife. It's just spectacular. And I really wasn't expecting the mountains either. I was expecting it to look more like Norway, but it really doesn't. It's completely different, which makes me so happy that this is such a unique place. So just before we get on the gondola, the cable car to where we're going today, we've just popped into the information point to book the sky glider and the zip liner. Yes, you're gonna to wanna to stick around for that because it's gonna be freaking insane. But first of all, we're doing something else. We're on the search for something big in the waters. So we're gonna get on the gondola, the transporter. It is free to take you from here where the dock is to the land. I hate this bit where it's moving. Yeah. Woo. You guys are gonna come counterbalance. <laughs> counterbalance the wings. Oh, we're on board. There we go. Let's do this. I feel like I'm at a ski lodge or something. I really do this snow all around and mountains, as Steph calls them. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I can smell wood burning and lumberjacks. It's like being in heaven. This is fabulous, guys. Oh. That's certainly heaven for you with wood and lumberjacks. Treat yourself. <laughs> So this is really odd. We're just like going through a line of trees, which is awesome. So there is another port on the other side. This is where you can dock as well. But because we've um, docked in the other port, we, this is why we have to take the gondola over there to meet our tour. The gondola was pretty amazing, guys. It wasn't high at all, so don't worry about that. I am so happy I could melt right now. They're doing fires and all sorts. It's proper alaska -y, just exactly how you would imagine it. Little fires and lumberjacks and, oh, I'm in heaven. This is amazing, oh my gosh. I apologize for my excitement. It's just that we don't usually get to see new stuff like this all the time, which is just, ah, this is what cruisings are about. Sorry. Wow, this is exactly what you think of when you think Alaska. I feel like I'm in the proper wilderness. It's pretty amazing. I can't wait. Right, we're gonna go and head for our tour now. So we've got a whale watching tour that we booked with a third party company and we're gonna go meet them right now. Quick little journey into the town to meet our boat. So we booked this with Glacier Winds. It's a third party excursion company and they meet you at the cruise terminal. There is a meeting point for shore excursions. Obviously this is out of season. We're at the very beginning. They were saying they had their first tour last week. So we are at the very beginning of the season, but in the summer, I'm guessing that shore excursion area is gonna get quite busy. But it was just us there today. There was toilets there, little seating area while you wait for the van and then they brought us into the town. Quick five minute drive onto our boat. Are you ready to take your online presence to the next level? Squarespace is the ultimate platform for building stunning websites and growing your brand. With cutting edge technology, your website will be powered by Fluid Engine. This revolutionary system designed by Squarespace will allow you to unleash your creativity like never before. Choose from a wide range of eye-catching templates, no design skills, well, no problem. Squarespace's intuitive interface makes it easy to bring your vision to life even if you're a beginner. It allowed us to customize every aspect of our website. We also love the custom merch feature. You can effortlessly sell your branded products online directly from your website. It's like having your own virtual store open 24 seven. And the best part for us, it has to be those powerful analytics to track our website's performance. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay then, we are on the boat. Let's start this adventure. Are you excited? Yes, can't wait. Let's see what we can see. There's talk of not just whales, but also bears, otters, lots and lots of uh, wildlife and things so it is a little bit early in the season though but fingers crossed we still see some uh, some amazing sights oh my god i'm so excited let's go oh so we're on the water now this is lovely it really isn't as cold as i thought it was going to be it is such a beautiful day we are very very lucky with this weather it is gorgeous in the sun it's actually quite warm we're on the hunt now for some whales let's see if we can see them there's lots of humpbacks in these waters apparently today Wow, we've just seen quite a few humpback whales. Oh my God, there's literally one right behind me. This is crazy. We saw three at once. It was difficult to know where to look at one time. Holy moly, this is incredible. They're getting really close as well, which is fantastic. Never seen a whale in the wild before, so this is incredible. So they literally just come up for air a few times and then they do a dive with their tail, which is awesome to go and catch some food. We've got tasty chips on here if they want some of that. And hot chocolate. This is incredible. Wow, this is exactly what I thought Alaska would be like. 
but it is incredible. I thought we'd maybe see one. We had three at the same time at one point. Absolutely breathtaking. You don't see the scale of them until like they're right in front of you. It's incredible. <laughs> wow. So we're on to our next stop now. So we saw the first of the whales. Now we've heard that there's some more at the other side of the lake. Really luckily, we are super close to the ship as well. So we're not having to go far out as usual, which is fantastic. But what's lovely is that we can come inside of the boat where it's nice and warm and then warm up before we can go out on the next stop. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely boat. There is a toilet on here as well. It's very clean. I've used it, I've checked. And we also have snacks. There is hot chocolate and there's even some homemade salmon dips and chips as well. I mean, guys, just look at this scenery behind us. It is just spectacular. Picture postcard perfect, I think. Ah, I can't believe we're here. Pinch me. We're definitely here. There's also some binoculars for you to use on the boat as well. They've also got hats, scarves and gloves if you are still cold. And it holds only 14 people, so unlike some of the uh, cruise excursions, you're not going to be scrambling for space. Hot chocolate is absolutely delicious and just what you need to warm up. Warming up my fingers more than anything. Oh my gosh, one thing that we weren't expecting to see was a bear. We saw a brown bear on the beach. I mean, how amazing is that? Our captain said it was a medium-sized brown bear, and he kept looking over his back just to check that nobody was behind him, maybe like a bigger bear. I saw a bear, guys. A bear. A freaking bear. It's amazing. It's so good. We've got sea otters and a sea lion, a very itchy sea lion. He's probably giving himself a scratch on his back while he's on the buoy. That's so cute. Wow, honestly, as Lizzie McGuire once said, this is what dreams are made of. If you know, you know. This is fantastic. I'm just loving how you've got so much room outside on the boat to look around, no crowds or anything. Just to say we've been, we paid for this entire cruise, including all of the excursions. None of it is sponsored, which is really good. So we can give you our truthful and honest opinion. And honestly, everybody for years has said, you've got to go to Alaska, you've got to go to Alaska and we're finally here and we can definitely see the appeal. For some reason, like I said earlier on, I thought it was going to be like Norway, but it really isn't. It's completely unique and different. I'm really looking forward to the next few days here. It's going to be a, an epic trip, I can just tell. So we're just going to head back to the town behind us now. It's called Huna. About 850 people live here year round. Not very much here. There's just a few houses, a grocery store and a hardware store. They were saying that a cabbage here cost $18 a few weeks ago. I mean, how crazy is that? It sounds like it's going to be expensive to live here, but there's still so much more to come. Let us know in the comment section, have you been to Alaska before and what's your favorite thing to do here? And whilst you're there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. What an amazing welcome to Alaska. That was incredible. I can't believe how much we saw. Otters, seals, bears, whales, so much wildlife. What? an incredible start to our Alaska adventure. I said it was like the greatest hits of Alaska and the guy said the weather was perfect today, super clear and they never usually see that much wildlife at this time of year. So we are super, super lucky. Oh, so we finished the tour now, which was just fantastic. Teresa, the, the company owner, has given us a lovely little block of cedar, yellow cedar wood each. Oh my gosh, the smell of that is crazy. It smells like the wilderness, like the outdoors. It's really gorgeous. It's almost floral. It is. You could almost use this as like, you know, one of those little things you hang in your car. Yeah. The little, the little trees, but this is a real one. Oh, delicious. Anyway, I'm going to go for a wee and then we're going to do something incredibly scary. Sorry, you didn't need to know that, but I just said it anyway. Right, so we're back in the original port and it's now time to take the gondola of death all the way up this blooming mountain. Oh my gosh, guys, why do I agree to these things? And then we're going to do something even crazier when we're up there. Okay. We're going to take the gondola up to... Why are we doing this, David? So oh, this geez. is a high-speed gondola that's going to take us to the point where we get this zip liner down. And the zip liner is taller than the Empire State Building. I think it's the world's longest zip line. Oh, Jesus, David. So, I'm not gonna lie, one is pooping themselves right now, like a bear in the woods. You're pooping yourself, David. Jesus, I'm the one who's scared. Oh, jeez. They're scared of heights. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Is I don't that like... a sheer climb? That, that's like a sheer climb up ahead, David. That is not good at all. Why on earth are we doing this? Oh, I don't like it. This is horrible. Don't make 
make me do this? Oh, I'll put my glasses on so you can't see me cry. Oh, Jesus, Joseph and Mary on a big hill. This is, a, oh my God. Oh. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking as well. Oh my God, this is legitimately life horrendousnessness. Oh, this is, le this is the worst thing I've ever been on in my entire life. We just stopped. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I, I really, really don't like, I really, really don't like this. This is like horrendous. Oh, sorry. My camera's <laughs> really wobbling. Oh, mommy. This is, this is horrendous. Oh my God, this is horrendous. I can't even watch. I can't watch. I'm going to have to close my eyes. I'm really sorry. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the next bit. I really don't. I honestly don't. If I do this, it's a life achievement ticked off. Oh my gosh, we are high. There's snow. We've got, we have got so high now, we've hit snow. I think we need to hear. Oh, thank oh God for that. You know what we've got to do now, Ben? What? We've got a zip line all the way back down. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh my God, I can't. That was horrendous, guys. Thank God we're on top. Anyway, on another note, this is snow. Look at this. It's crazy. But to add insult to injury, as soon as we get off the blooming gondola, there's a sign saying, beware of bears and stay in big groups of 10. There's three of us, we're legitimately gonna die one way or the other on this mountain. There's actual snow up here. It's like we're on some sort of ski resort. It's completely bonkers. And bears. That it's, can kill us. It's pretty damn good. We're on top of the world. I think this is what feeling pregnant feels like. I mean, I'm having contractions about going on this blooming stupid highest zip line in bloody North America. Why the hell do we get ourselves in these situations, guys? I blame Steph from Sean and Steph. She's the blooming thing to blame for this. She persuaded us to do this. I'm not being friends with her anymore. This is freaking horrendous. Don't do this ever. Wow, I've touched Alaskan snow. <laughs> so we've just had our safety talk. The guy there was really lovely. He was saying it's fantastic and amazing. And yep, the biggest, the tallest, the longest in the freaking world. So. I have never ever ziplined in my life, so let's, why not let's start on the biggest in the plumbing world? I mean, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, my heart's beating out my chest, guys. It's not good. So his safety rules were make sure you zip everything up and most importantly, don't pass out. Yeah, I know. What a weird thing to say, don't you think, David? Yeah, I'm slightly more nervous now than I was before, actually. So he reassured me. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Look at this snow. Now, can we just stay and make snow angels? Do you want to build a snowman? Okay, here we go. The t Steph! Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, one thing that is absolutely spectacular is the walk down towards the zip line, wherever it is. The good thing is we are going down, so that's great. But we're walking between these two huge boulders of snow and we've got these beautiful trees. It's just exactly what you think Alaska's gonna be like. I mean, this is just fan blumentastic. I'm in heaven right now. I'm about to go to hell, but I'll be back in heaven soon, hopefully. Not that sort of heaven, guys. Just happy heaven. Are you okay, Steph? She's gonna pee so, so Steph needed the toilet and she didn't go at the bottom. So there may be a shower as Steph is on the zip line. Oh my God. Right, we're here, guys. I can see it. Oh, my life's starting to flash in front of my eyes. At least I've had a good one. I've seen a lot of places, took you guys along with us. So it's all good. Let's switch to the action cams to see if we can capture this horrendous moment in time. It's my first day, so I don't know if I expect you Oh, to... geez, don't tell me that. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, guys. That was nothing less than completely and utterly incredible. That was, I, I don't can't explain it. That was like a once in a lifetime thing. I did scream. Sorry, you can hear the things going back up. I did scream the whole way down. The initial drop did terrify me. But then after about two seconds, you start to just enjoy it. And I really oh, want to do it again. It was amazing. Honestly, if you get the chance to do that, you yeah. have to. Incredible, it is pricey. It's $190 each. 
190 so 400 dollars for the both of us not cheap at all but these are once in a lifetime type type of thing so go for it absolutely it was an incredible experience also just to say i know we mentioned earlier about accessibility you can do it if you are in a wheelchair just speak to the guys they do have ways and they will help you they will assist you on and off slide down so you, everybody can do it Whilst you're not going to find any Walmarts or Targets or anything like that here, there's lots of lovely little local shops selling local goods, which is really nice. A few food places as well. It's just really nice. It's all very walkable as well. You can even walk to the town. So we're going to grab the shuttle that goes into town. You can walk it. It's a 30 minute walk, 1.5 miles. Or the shuttle takes about 10 minutes. It's $5 per person round trip on the shuttle. And I've got my ticket. Yes, I did buy this. I didn't write this out myself. The ticket machine's broken, so this is my very official ticket to get us into town. When you think of Alaska, this is not the outfit that you expect. It's genuinely got really warm. I don't know why, but it's like very pleasant in the sun. We're not in Disney's Wilderness Resort, Florida. I could sunbathe right now. This is crazy. Not what I expected from Alaska at all. It's snowy over there, but like lovely and warm right here. Okay, David, the shuttle is here. Let's go. Should have walked. Wow, so our little shuttle has turned into a nature sightseeing tour. We've just bumped into a lovely bald eagle, an American bald eagle. How amazing is that? You never know what you're gonna bump into here in Alaska. So we've came over to the Fisherman's Daughter, which is just in the town here, and we've ordered some food. It looks absolutely de freaking delicious. I went for the honey mustard chicken sandwich, and look at the size of this thing. Hit me with a whale and call me unconscious, because those things are big. That is absolutely wonderful. Really tasty, loving all of the sweet mustard and honey. Very good, and these fries are legitimately to die for. Look at those. That's a fry in a bit. Check it out, I've got salmon tacos with a potato salad on the side. Mm-hmm. That was an absolutely fabulous meal. Such good food. Really recommend Fisherman's Daughter if you are here. We're just gonna take a nice stroll back now. It's just such a beautiful day. And coming into evening now, the sunset doesn't even set till 9 p.m. tonight. And that's just in May. In about a month's time, it doesn't set until about 10, 10.30 p.m., which is nuts. So you almost get the midnight sun here, which is fabulous. But the weather has been incredible. Thank you to the weather gods because it's been lovely, really warm now. You don't even need a hat, so we're so lucky. What an amazing day. So we're running back to the port now because I flew my drone and the bloody whales are distracting us. There's so many of them, it's amazing. So run back to the ship, get back on board, and I'm sure there'll be more viewing opportunities on there as well as we depart during sunset. It's gonna be amazing. You can see another whale in the distance, it's crazy. So this Blumen shuttle bus that we paid for didn't pick us back up. She was supposed to come before seven and just didn't bother. So thank God we left a little bit early. So do never rely on anything else, guys. Make sure you get to the port really early. We've got about 20 minutes. We've still got the gondola to do. So we are cutting it fine. We're gonna be okay. But my gosh, she should have really picked us up. That's not good. Don't rely on anybody else but yourself. Life motto 2621. Back through the gift shop, lots of lovely things to buy from Alaska. Some really nice stuff actually, some lovely t-shirts and things. Lovely, right, let's go get back on this ship, shall we? Look at me, I look frazzled. And that, my friends, is a wrap for Icy Straight Point. Tick, we did Alaska, but there's so much more to come tonight. Ooh, back on the ship, comfies on, back into the shorts and Crocs. Had a nice shower, and we're gonna go and grab something quick from the buffet because we are tired. My gosh, we walked a lot today. I mean, the walk back to the port was just a mile and a half alone, so such a fabulous day. We did get a little bit toasty, though. I think I've burnt my lips a little bit, so... Make sure you do bring sun lotion. Just because it's chilly doesn't mean you're not gonna get burnt. Ben and I both have a little bit of the panda eyes going on at the moment. Mediterranean night at the buffet. Plus we should get some amazing views. Oh, we are indeed tired. I'm taking the stairs though, because I want to have as much cake and bad food as possible today. So let's do this, shall we? <laughs> what an amazing day. So the buffet is your normal fare. Exactly what you'll find on any other cruise ship, really. Lots of things, lots of meats and potatoes and vegetables and salads. You also have fruit, desserts, ice cream, all of that jazz. Let's go pick something out. I'm super tired, I need food immediately, so let's go find something to eat, shall we? I just went for a big old salad. There were some olives, so I greeted up my salad with some big black olives. Pretty good, I like the salad selection. They have like three that change every day, so that's quite good. Mains bit, they're okay. 
buffet's better at lunchtime than it is on a night. I also went for a nice big salad and then I completely ruined it with about £30 worth of um, Thousand Island dressing. Oh well, what can you do? But I also couldn't resist sticking this on the end of my plate. A good old Frankfurter hot dog. Who doesn't look a sausage-shaped piece of meat flying towards your face? It's really tasty. Really yummy, delicious, juicy, all of the good things that a sausage provides. Thumbs up. I got a crepe, a freshly made crepe. It's got blooming peach cobbler in it. You heard that right, peach cobbler in a crepe, which is like double dessertage. Then it's got a big scoop of vanilla ice cream on there. And then butterscotch sauce. I'm gonna be awake all night. Like, this is ridiculous. Ding, dong, walla walla bing bong. That is freaking delicious. I don't know if it's supposed to be crunchy, but it is, and it's delicious. It's got all of the goodness in there. I am a very happy boy right now. On that note, we have to say a big thank you to all of our patrons. You patrons are amazing. You can find out about becoming a patron in the description section below, and we give you so much in return, like extra episodes, behind the scenes episodes, early access and ad-free access to all of our videos and a monthly Zoom call. If you like this video, you should check out our Norwegian Norway experience adventure right here. Just click on the screen in front of my face. And I guess we'll see you next time. That's it till next time. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising.